Welcome to Disneyland Forever, where you can create your own custom CD of rare Disneyland music and sounds, or create a personalized audio disc based upon pre-selected soundtracks. Once you've made your selections, your custom CD will be created right before your eyes. To begin, please touch anywhere on the screen. Aloha, passengers. Welcome back to the Grand Circle Tour. Jungle Skipper Jay here. And tonight, we are neither on the Jungle Cruise, nor on a regular tour or a detour. We are down on Main Street tonight. It's a 20th Century Music Shop to do the very first of our monthly Disney vinyl record reviews. So in the shop tonight with me, I have my buddy, George. George, how you doing? Hey, Jay, how's it going? I am fantastic. Thanks for having me on the very first music episode. Thanks for joining me. Anytime. The, the best part about the music shop, it's right next to the Starbucks. <laughs> Gotta have your little uh, caffeine drip. I, I have a caffeine IV to get me through the workday. <laughs> but we are not going to talk about work. We are going to talk about the Haunted Mansion picture vinyl, which is available at the Disney Music Emporium online. Or you can pick these up at Memento Mori or Pieces of Eight at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So, uh, Jay, I have to ask you uh, the very first question. What got you into... Uh, the interest of buying vinyl records. Oh, definitely the um, expense and inconvenience of it all. Is it the like the nostalgia? No, I've been I've been listening to vinyl my whole life, so I have always had it, always seeked it out. It's just something I've always listened to. Nice. It's, it really is a better sound. And it's just classic. It just takes you back to that time when that's all they had, <laughs> you know, it was nothing but vinyl. Well, and you can't passively listen to it. It's something you have to carefully put on the table and you have to monitor and watch it. So I, I, there's nothing I love more than sitting around the player and watching the vinyl play. Yeah. I have to agree with that. Cause we have a, a collection of vinyls ourselves and it's, you know, just, putting the needle down onto the disc, hearing the scratching sound and just watching it, just watching it roll. And that pop and hiss is such a warm, inviting sound. Yes. It fills the air with music in a way MP3s and CDs can't. Definitely. How, roughly how many vinyls do you have? Well, when we moved cross country, I was told I had to narrow it down to a thousand. So you had to narrow it down to a thousand. So that I means you narrow it down. <laughs> yeah, which was hard because I had to make three stacks. There was the keep stack, toss stack, and in the middle was the I'm not sure stack. <laughs> choices, choices. I have a room in my house that looks like the last scene of Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> that's where have... my librarian skills come out. So do you have them in like a alphabetical order? Uh, I have them in alphabetical by genre. Oh, wow. So you definitely took the time to set them up nice. Well, and it's a convenient to actually try to find them. You know, you know exactly where one is at based on the first letter in the genre. Right. So I, I've got my, my punk section, my live section. I even have a Disney section. <laughs> is your Disney section the biggest? Or did you just start... Um, more recent. You know what it might be? I've got over a hundred Disney vinyls. Well, and then so talking really, to you earlier, now I I have a certain record I have to keep an eye out for to send to you. There's a few I, I'm still looking for. Yeah. <laughs> so on this uh, Haunted Mansion one specifically, what drew you to want the vinyl for the Haunted Mansion? I have always wanted Disney to release this album. The one they released in 1970 um, with Ron Howard and Robbie Lester is a fun storybook type album, but this is the actual attraction. This is the ride as you hear it from the foyer to the exit. Oh, so it's not just 
the, the song that's playing as you're riding. It's literally the whole experience from beginning to end. No, and this this vinyl re this is a vinyl reissue of the 2009 40th anniversary CD that came out 10 years ago. Oh wow. So it is the actual Disneyland haunted mansion on one side. The the original with Paul Freeze? Mhm. Mm wow. It is the same track uh you would get if you bought the album, the CD or the iTunes version. So it's all compacted on one vinyl. Yeah, and like with vinyl, there's less storage, so it it doesn't have two tracks the CD or the iTunes version has. Interesting. Which is a shame because one of those was a Phantom Manor suite. Oh, wow. Yeah, which I would have preferred to the otherworldly concerto, but we'll get there. Would you say Phantom Manor is your favorite, as far as attractions go, the uh, best um, version of the Haunted Mansion, in quotes? <laughs> yeah, the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland is my all-time favorite Disney attraction. But Phantom Manor is something else. And it utilizes the exact same track layout as the one in California, but it tells an entirely different story. In some ways, it's superior like when we get to the score, because it's an orchestral store. More modern? No, it's a straight orchestra score. Oh. Throughout the entire attraction. Oh, that's interesting. I have to really listen to that. And, well, if you want to, um, the Phantom Manor full track is available on the 30th anniversary CD, which came out 20 years ago this year. They're very hard to find. They're about 50 bucks on eBay is the, the low range. And the Haunted Mansion is celebrating its 50th year. 50th year this year. So I'm really hoping we'll get some new Haunted Mansion on vinyl. Major milestone. Well, and Jay, I believe you're coming for one day at the expo. I will be there. Uh, I believe that usually when an attraction or a movie or – something has a major milestone, especially with the Haunted Mansion, they may have their own exhibit on the right. show. And the Haunted Mansion merchandise does so well. I'm really hoping we're going to get flooded with some great new stuff this year. Yeah, definitely. Uh, have you listened to the record yet? Um, I've had the record two weeks now. Um, I got it from the Disney Emporium online for twenty one ninety eight, And I have... I can honestly say, passengers, I have listened to this album over 100 times since I've had it the last two weeks. Do you have a favorite part in particular that like, kind of calls to you that you just have to listen to over and over? Uh, well, it's hard with vinyl because you can't just back up. Right. But if you had to pick like a specific part that you could say that's your all-time favorite part. No, it would be listening to the side A, which is the entire attraction. Nice. I, I like the notion of actually where it's not just the song and then boom, the record's done. I like how it can give you the full experience of what to expect for the attraction the second you walk into the queue line to the time you're actually exiting off the doom buggy. Right. And here's where the vinyl is superior to the digital. This album... The audio is so layered, it has depth. So you almost have a 3D sound. All the separate audio, you hear it separately. Wow. It's so not if compressed. You really, if you literally shut everything off and you just focus on that, it almost makes you feel like you're there in the attraction. It's as close to sounding like you're in the ride as you can get. That is awesome. And like it would be better than that to actually feel like you could be in the Haunted Mansion every single day. Well, to actually be there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> other than that. <laughs> so this album, it's not 180 gram vinyl, but it is a very nice, thick, heavy vinyl. Did it come with a, like a cover? No, yeah, and this is, this is my biggest, this is my only complaint about this album. And this is going to be an ongoing complaint going forward because it's the same one they used for Pirates and all the other picture discs you can buy in the park. 
It's a very cheap vinyl sleeve. It has a flip open on the back. And when I opened the vinyl from the box, all three sides were already torn. So depending on how you were holding it, the vinyl was already slipping out of the sleeve. Mm. So if you're going to collect these and actually listen to them and keep them in rotation like I do, I suggest going and getting some blank vinyl sleeves. I have some nice glossy black ones. And I took the sticker off the vinyl it came in, put that on the front, and that's my album sleeve. That's smart. And at least it can hold the vinyl record better than the actual case itself. Because right. I know there's a lot of DVD cases, even with movies, that have that. They're right. very cheap quality cases. And then the plastic that holder that holds the disc actually comes apart, and you have to buy a case for it anyway. Right. And with this one, the biggest issue was not only did the case it come in, the sleeve it came in was already ripping, but there's no protection under it. So it's just sitting on the shelf, the actual record, with nothing to cradle it underneath. Wow. So, I mean, it's, I understand why they did it. If you're, in, if you're in one of the parks, you see it, you want it, you grab it. You see that it's a vinyl album, you grab it. Um, but the packaging, if, like I said, if you're going to collect these, ditch the packaging that comes in and do yourself a favor, get yourself some sleeves. So all in all, you can say that this vinyl record was worth it. This is the album I've always wanted from Disney. This album is as close to perfect as it can get right now. Awesome. So, I mean, the only thing that would make it better for me is if it was the Walt Disney World version. This is the Disneyland version. Side A is comes in at, at 13 minutes and 58 seconds. So you're getting the Haunted Mansion, like I said, from foyer to exit corridor. This version does include Constance in the attic, and it has her complete audio spiel. Oh, wow. So what would make you want it to be Disney World over Disneyland? You have the library, the music room, and the endless staircase room. So you just have additional audio that makes it longer, additional narration. The thing I like about the Disney World mansion as opposed to the Disneyland one, it's like the director's cut version. Sort of like vice versa with Pirates. Right. Like when we do the Pirates one next month, it's better it's the Disneyland and not the Disney World. This would have benefited more from being the Disney World version of the mansion. Do they have a version of Walt Disney Worlds? No, the only audio you can purchase legally is the 30th anniversary CD, and it is the original version of the Haunted Mansion. And after that, there's a, there's a track that is just the library na- narration from Florida. Well, you never know in time. They still make him up with one. I'm really hoping, since this is the 50th, we'll get a, a nice final set for the Haunted Mansion with Phantom Manor and... All of them. Yeah, like yeah. all versions. That would be cool. I'd like to have each one on, on each side of a vinyl. If you just need a three vinyl set, take my money. I don't care how much. <laughs> you just want it. I just want it. Now, side B comes in at 14 minutes and five seconds with the second track being the longest. The first track on side B is the Ghostly Music Box, which is actually a Paris track. It's from the gazebo in the queue, which got brought to Disneyland, and it's now at Disneyland. It's the Fast Pass distribution music. Oh. So, but it was originally in... Did in you Paris. Say in Paris. Yeah. Does Paris still have it? Yeah. As you're walking through the queue, they have an enormous outside queue and as you're winding through it there is a little gazebo and you hear the music box music from it and that's what got imported over to Disneyland that's cool now the second track uh, is the other other world concerto I was talking about that track is nine minutes and 58 seconds and it is all alternate versions of the foyer the portrait hallway and the ballroom organ awesome. not the ones you hear on the rides it's the, it's the outtakes Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Track three is The Swinging Wake. It is an instrumental version of Grim Grinning Ghosts. How do they 
how do they play it? Like, is it more of a, like a melancholy type of tone? No, it's just the straight, it's the great gritty ghost you can buy on any Disney soundtrack with the lyrics removed. Oh, okay. And the fourth track is the graveyard band, which is the instrumental track as you're entering the graveyard. It's that band you see right in front of you. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Both those tracks are a minute long. Now, this is a, a perfect audio from Disney. I think if you're going to collect and listen to Disney records or Disney music in general, this is a must have. Is it where you can, when you play it, it does it hear like that type of older sound? Like yes, it, it has the pop and the hiss. It is a traditional sounding vinyl record. Okay. Like you could hear it and say, wow, that is like the original Haunted Mansion sound. It's not. And you know, yeah, it's something about hearing the mansion on vinyl with all those vinyl sounds makes it better. Well, especially like with the background itself with the mansion, like you could just look at the mansion. It has like that older type of 1940s, 50s feel to it. So wow. it would already like feel the notion of, okay, during this time era, they listened to records. Right. Well, what year is I, mean, I don't know the I don't know the actual like time era, but I mean in the, I guess just the, the feel for me of what it throws off is like that right. older time era, like you don't see the ghost wanting to pull out an MP3 player or an iPod and have earbuds in their ears. <laughs> <laughs> now, I said, this is a track. You, you can no longer buy it on CD. Uh, they, don't, they don't sell at the parks anymore. It is discontinued. You can find it secondhand on eBay for 20, 30 bucks uh, or get it on iTunes for seven ninety nine. But like I said, if you're going to, if you're like me and, and you love your Disney music, you should invest the twenty one ninety eight and buy this album. And that's not a bad price for everything that you just described of how much it could be more, especially with the nostalgic side to it, but that's not a bad price at all. Right, it's standard price. Which is why I was miffed about the packaging. If I'm going to pay as much for this as I do other albums, I would like to have gotten a cardboard sleeve to keep it safe. But when that's the only critique I have... You'll take it. <laughs> so, George, do you, are you going to go out and buy this album now? I, I definitely, um, with the albums that we already have, and we're big Disney um, vinyl record collectors, like my wife collects all the ones from the movies and everything, and I love the vinyl records of the attractions or the park music. Like anything I can get of the sounding of the parks itself to bring into my home just so I could constantly feel like I'm there that I would, and I love the Haunted Mansion. It's one of my favorite attractions. So without a doubt at some point, yes, I will definitely get that record. Here's my advice. Buy this album, turn the lights down low, get comfortable, sit in a comfy chair, get nice and comfy, put the needle on the record and just enjoy this one. Let it run. <laughs> Thanks for being off me tonight, George. Oh, thanks for having me. That was a that was awesome. I definitely want to come back on for more. Uh, we'll be doing these every month. Next month, we'll be back in the music shop to review the Pirates of the Caribbean picture disc of the attraction. Another uh, attraction favorite of mine. <laughs> so with that, the music shop is closed. Thank you, passengers. And aloha. Adios. Congratulations! You have now completed the selection and design of your custom CD. Please take the ticket from the kiosk and give it to the cast member at the Disneyland Forever counter. Your custom CD will be created in just a few minutes. Thank you, and we hope you will enjoy your personalized copy of Disneyland Forever. <laughs>